everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3.10 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. In this video, I'm going to cover the intrinsic function if, which is used to create the stack resources conditionally. Apart from if function, there are other conditional functions, but in this video, I am only going to cover the if function. The prerequisite for this video is part 2.4 video of this tutorial series, which covers conditions. Assuming you have already gone through that video and in case you have not, then the link is in the video description. So now let's quickly have a look at the syntax of the if function and how you can use the if function within your cloud formation template. So as you can see on my screen on line number 55, I have defined the if function syntax using the short name that is exclamation if followed by square bracket. And within that square bracket, we are defining three values. The first value is condition logical name. So this condition logical name will be a reference to the condition that is defined under the conditions section. So whatever value that you define over here or whatever condition that you refer to within this first block or first parameter has to be defined under the conditions section. And if you are unaware what conditions is, uh, then please refer to the part 2.4 video of this tutorial series. Now, once you define the condition over here, then you define the two other values which you want to return based on the evaluation of the condition. So for example, if this condition evaluates to true, then it will return the first value. And if this condition evaluates to false, then it will return the second value. That is value if false. Similarly, there is another way to define the function if that is using the uh, full function name, which is referred as fn double colon if followed by three bullet points. So the first one would be your condition logical name. The second would be the value that you want to return if the condition evaluates to true. And the third one would be the value that you want to return if this particular condition evaluates to false. If I were to give you an example, like if the environment specific deployment is happening, then I want to spin up EC2 with T2.x large as instance type for the prod environment and T2.medium for the other environments. Now to reflect the scenario using the if function, let's say we have defined the is prod condition under the conditions section and that condition will return true if it is a prod environment and false in case of other environments. Is prod is nothing but the logical name which is referring to the condition defined under the conditions section. So if it is a prod environment then return t2.x large or else return t2.medium. Okay, similarly we can define it over here as well. It will look something like this. Okay, so this is how you define the if function within your cloud formation template. Below are the list of functions starting from line 62, which you can use in the if condition. Currently cloud formation supports the if intrinsic function in the metadata attribute, update policy attribute and property values in the resource section and the output section of the template. So keep this thing in mind. Now we will move on to the implementation part where I have defined the cloud formation template which covers the same example of how if function will be helpful in doing environment specific deployment. So here the cloud formation template will spin up t2.x large as instance type for prod environment and t2.medium for dev or queue environment. So now let me quickly take you through this cloud formation template. So on line number one, I defined the AWS template format version. This is standard. And then uh, I have this description which says intrinsic function if example, and it could be anything. You can change it with whatever you want. On line number four, I have defined the parameters. So parameters is something uh, that we define when we want some input from the user, right? So that's where I have defined the parameter section and under parameter section, I have defined one uh, logical name that is environment because I want the user to select the environment. So the environment could be dev, prod or QA. 
it could be anything from these three values and the default selected value is dev and based on the user input for environment i want to make some decisions so this is parameters on line number 13 i have defined conditions which says uh, is prod again this is the uh, logical name and it could be anything right so in my case i just want to check if it is a prod environment or not so that's where i defined is prod and here i am using uh, another condition that is equals and within square brackets i have two values to compare so here i am pulling the value that user has selected as a part of the environment and this is the static value so i'm simply checking if the selected value is equal to prod or not if uh, the selected value is prod then this will return true if the selected value is something other than prod then this is going to return false so basically uh, this condition will be evaluated based on the input parameters that the user will provide while creating or updating the stack okay so this is condition section and now coming to the resources section where we are going to define all the resources that we want this cloud formation template to create so on line number 17 i have defined the logical name for uh, deploying the ec2 instance so type is aws ec2 instance under properties i have defined the instance type so as a part of the instance type i want to uh, make a decision based on the condition so here i am defining if so I'm using the short name of the if function that is exclamation if if uh, this condition is true that is is prod which is defined under the condition section on line number 14 if is prod is true then I want to spin up t2.xlarge okay so if user will select the prod environment while creating the stack then this cloud formation template will deploy the EC2 instance with the t2.xlarge as an instance type and if user selects something else apart from prod that is dev or QA then this uh, cloud formation template is going to deploy the EC2 instance with t2.medium as an instance type okay I guess it's, it's simple enough right if this is true then deploy t2.xlarge if this is false then deploy t2.medium so this is the if condition uh, using the short name if you want to define this condition using the full function name then you can define it as something like this so that's instance type and then i have this image id the image that i want uh, within my ec2 instance and then i'm defining the tags based on the environment that user will select on line number 30 i have defined the volume that i want the cloud formation template to create and attach to the ec2 instance based on the environment type so I want cloud formation template to create and mount the volume with the size of 500 GB for the prod environment and 100 GB for the dev or QA environment. So on line number 31, I have defined a type that is AWS EC2 volume under properties. I have defined size and size is something that I want to decide based on the environment type. So here I have defined if condition again the short of the function right that is exclamation if if is prod is true then i want to create the volume with uh, 500 gb if the is prod condition is false then i want to create the volume with the 100 gb okay so that's the size and then on line number 34 we have availability zone i'm simply uh, pulling the attribute of the instance that is instance config dot availability zone just to create this volume in the same availability zone as the instance so that's our volume now we have created the ec2 instance we have created the volume now we want to mount this volume to that specific ec2 instance so that is where we have defined the third resource that is volume mount config and its type is aws ec2 volume attachment and under properties we are simply referring to the instance on which we want to mount that particular volume and then on line number 42 we have to find the volume that we want to mount on that particular instance so it's just a reference to both the resources and the path on which we want to mount and finally we have to find the output section on line number 46 uh, which will simply return the instance id of the ec2 instance that it will deploy so this is the high level walkthrough of the cloud formation template now as a next step let's go ahead and deploy this aws cloud formation template via aws console navigate to aws management console and open cloud formation service 
click on create stack I will select template is ready within specify template I will select upload a template file choose a file in my case it's conditions if open click on next provide the stack name I will say prod and then within environment I'm going to select prod click on next next again and submit now the stack creation is in progress so let's wait for it to finish in the meantime what we will do we will create another stack with the environment type as QA for example so upload a template file choose a file select the same template click on next give the stack name I will say dev or maybe QA and from the environment drop down I'm going to select QA click on next next again submit so I'm creating two stack just to show you the comparison like how if condition played a role over here while selecting the instance type and while creating the new volume uh, for the respective instances. So the prod creation is complete. So let me open that. Click on resources and click on the physical ID next to instance config. If we look at the instance type then it is t2.x large because it is the prod environment and it also have the tag that we had defined that is a name as prod and apart from that if we look at the storage then as you can see there is an additional volume that has been created with the size of 500 GB and it has been attached to this specific EC2 instance. Now let's have a look at the QA stack. So QA stack creation is also completed. Let's open it. Click on resources. Similarly, three resources. Let's open this instance. Here, as you can see, uh, the tag is QA. And if you look at the instance type, then it's t2.medium, right? And if you look at the storage, then the additional volume of 100 GB is mounted on this EC2 instance. So this is how by using conditions and if function we can create a single multipurpose cloud formation template which could be used for deploying different environments. So guys I hope you like this video you found this video helpful and that's all I wanted to cover as a part of this video until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.